So now let's talk a bit about tables. Um, my general feeling about tables is I don't like them. I prefer figures because they are more uh, visual for the reader, for the user of your paper. The, a good, well-designed figure generally can express the same information uh, more vividly to your reader. I do accept that there are times when a table is necessary. So let's talk a bit about uh, how you should design and present tables. So again, try not to. Think about every table that you do include and think about, could I possibly present this more effectively as a figure? So minimum use of tables is best. Uh, most of the information in tables can be expressed in a good eye-catching figure. I find that readers tend not to pay very much attention to what's in tables, and they take up a lot of space and thereby cost money in the publishing process. I personally would urge you to simply consider posting the full data set um, at, some, at some openly accessible site uh, and to move the, the interpreted information, simply the content of your tables, to figures as much as possible. So, uh, how should you present tables? Well, here, here are some uh, basic rules. Each table goes on a separate page, by the way. Uh, no bold face. Notice that whoever did this table uh, put the headings in bold. Uh, try to have the headers down against the line. Uh, and try to be very consistent about your presentation. For example, here there are there is a decimal place, and here there's none. So look at your tables very carefully and ask, am I being absolutely consistent throughout the table? So very generically, this is what your table should look like. The caption goes right above the table. Again, this is one table per sheet of paper at the end of your manuscript. The caption goes above the table. Then you have one horizontal line and the header, and another horizontal line, and then the body, and then a final horizontal line. In some more complex tables, you may be able to add a, some horizontal lines to demonstrate hierarchical relationships among header levels. But in general, you should have no vertical lines, no boxes, and no horizontal lines internal to the table. Okay? That is basically how the journal can best and most easily process your table into a piece of a, of a published manuscript. And so just to, to reiterate, your tables go at the end of the manuscript, after the figures, in non-numbered pages, one table per page, and again, you should have uh, the caption and then the body. Uh, and the only lines should be horizontal lines in the header and at the very end.